hey guys welcome back to another video today we're gonna do a little archery guide what to do and what to focus on i just finished up making the warrior one that video was so long i'm just gonna keep trying and keep this a little bit shorter so what skills you're gonna go for you're gonna be going for attack speed you're gonna be going for basic attack damage these two are like a must you need this to be able to hit faster getting your combo getting your crits getting your stuns this one basic attack damage you're going to be doing a lot of combos combos equal basic attack damage basic attack damage is combo so you're going to be doing more damage with these then we have one stun and that is the jet mist you could also be using uh, something like this uh, reducing the attack speed of targets, right? Uh, yeah, reducing the attack speed, right? You could be using this, reducing the attack. Uh, you could be using that those instead. Um, yeah. Then you have two heals. You have nature's renewal. Heals you thirty percent max max HP for five seconds. You have this one gains a little shield for twenty percent max HP, lasting for ten seconds. Really nice. I'm the same with me a lot of times. You have your pets. Now, you're going to be needing a lot of combo. Combo damage and like crit damage and such. So, we're going to go for this one. Crit rate. We need some crits. We're going to do this. We're going to do a lot of basic attacks. So, having that extra basic attack damage is really nice. Having the increased attack speed. So, we can get more shots out. This one, basic attack damage. Getting more on that. And then we have... Active skill region. Why do we have that? Because the melon drop. Melon drop increases the combo damage received by targets. So we need to gain uh, our active skill so we can make them uh, gain more damage. And when they gain more damage, we do more combos, equal more damage. Wait. Yeah, just set in the one way. When we use our active skill and use combos after, we do more damage. More damage, we like. <laughs> so yeah. What are you going to be looking for in relics? So, you're going to be looking for crit rate. None of these, maybe combo could be better, but I think crit rate is like the best one. Evasion, no. Skill crit rate, no. Counter, no. Combo or crit rate, depending on what you like the most. I've been upgrading all these three. Well, then here, you're going to go to cactus. There's nothing else really, but cactus is because the combo rate a combo rate by 37 percent they do the combo they uh, gain the combo multiplier and you do more damage again <laughs> then we have this i uh yeah i have no idea why there's actually nothing like really better but yeah chickens continuously throws 5x every 10 seconds dealing a total of 500 percent damage really good nice here, you can choose yourself if you want damage or if you need resistance. So, at the start of the battle, increase attack by 1% per second, up to 10, uh, 10 seconds. Really nice if you know you're not going to die. So, in like the Grumpy Whale, if you have so much HP that you're not going to die to it, having the 10% extra attack, pretty nice. Else, I'm going to go this because I don't like increase damage to the bosses. Really nice. So... This might actually not be, this might be for PvP, if you're going to survive. This might be for bosses, well, this is for bosses. Um, You have this, and boss levels become immune to damage for 3 seconds. When, no, like, if you need more health, do your attack for health, HP before attack. Or, yeah, th there's a lot else you can do. But if you have the two other skills, that's going to be a bit before you die. In <laughs> boss levels... Restore 10% of large HP every 5 seconds. Pretty nice, actually. Uh, it's probably better than this one. Because this is the first time. For first time, right? This is every time. So if you're not taking, like, big chunks of damage. If you're taking them kind of slow. You could actually be healing a lot of health. But I'm going to go with this just for the basic crit. And uh, no resistance to everything. Really nice. Then we have these. Uh, you're not going to be using any of these. Um, so, pick one, like, you could, uh, let's see, a coin bomb, slime bomb, meteor fall, combo, coin bomb, 
uh, you're actually going to be using. So if you get this, you should be getting. Uh, you should be using this because by thirty percent, uh, boosting the effect, really nice. Um, but since I don't have any of those, I'm going to be using this because I upgraded it. So I need the base attack, uh, defense, and HP that comes with it. Because if I take this, it's just sixty percent. All right, great. In your prayer statue, I don't know if you're going to be having two. If you have two, I would recommend having one for boss damage and then having one for other PvE, PvP uh, kind of things. So you're going to see here what I'm going for. I'm going for crit damage bonus and global combo bonus. That is what we're going to be using, looking for. We can see in our advanced attributes, crit rate is high, combo is high. That's what we need. Counter-Strike, we don't need that. Uh, stun... We do not that. I would actually love to have it at like 15% at some point. I'm going to need some, like, not better gear, but some other gear that gives more stun in order to have that, uh, get that up. Down here, we can see that my skill crit, we don't need skill crit. Skill crit is no-go. We're going to be looking for just crit. Crit combo, because that is a basic attack that goes in. Well, crit is not, but combo. That is basic attack multiplier plus combo multiplier going in on the same one. Crit rate, you have your crit damage going in on that one, right? So, if you just keep it on basic attacks, yeah, that is much better. So, what you need to focus on in prayer, combo and global crit damage, okay? Great. In your items, when you get further, uh, far enough for like 15, no, 16, 17 maybe lamps, um, then you can start looking for actual attributes in uh, in these, and where you're gonna what you're gonna be looking for is combo, crit rate, stun, evasion, and regeneration is like a second choice, uh, because you're gonna get a lot of evasion from your sword here. I have twenty five percent evasion, really nice, but yeah, if you can, if you don't get this, uh, get those still evasion regeneration. Still okay, much better than getting skill crit or something like that. Much better or counter strike. You don't need any of those. Uh, so yeah, in here, your mounts. Uh, yeah, your advanced mounts, right? You can use both of these. So if you're gonna be using losing a lot of HP in a battle, having this and then having the one that gives you ten percent lost HP every five seconds. You can actually like keep getting HP every time you lose HP, uh, and then do more damage because it's five hundred percent of current basic attack damage. Nice scales with lost HP. So I think it's even uh, if you lose like twenty percent, then you're gonna be doing more damage. Right. This one is the best right now for what I can see. Well, the dream no. So all these we haven't done. We ha don't have. So this one is really good. Base crit damage and crit damage percent. Right. So, yeah, it's just so good because if you're not dying, you're going to get up to 20 and percent and 100 percent. Amazing. You're going to be getting a lot for that. So remember, if you can buy it, you should buy it. Um, but in my other video, I talked about when you should be moving to Archer. In my opinion, move to Archer when you're level 100. So it could maybe like between 100, uh, 70 and 100, maybe when you get to like 98 or something start saving up materials um prayer and stuff like that uh, and looking for pals uh, at that point so when you do change over to archer if you do it's smoother than just changing over and then having to wait a long time before uh, before actually resetting your prayer and then resetting your combo because i had to wait like 12 hours and that meant that I didn't get a lot of damage for 12 hours, but like 12 hours is nothing compared to like the long one, long, long run where I get a lot more damage, right? I will show you guys my damage right now, just to give you an idea of how much damage you can actually do. So this one right now, 257, you saw in my test that we did 150 on warrior. Oh, we don't even have any. Well, fair enough. I'll get one in five hours. Maybe at that point I'll show you guys. <laughs> I thought I, I don't even know how I've used it, but I will show you guys at that time. Oh, I have to get on my free play. We have to do the top 100 challenge. Okay. Well, this was a quick R2 guide. If you want longer one where I really go in depth, I don't know how much more I can go in depth, but 
I can try and figure it out. If you guys have any tips or something that I should do different on my archer build, please let me know. These are my stats as of right now, as of this recording. Oh, I'll go to the top, going slow it down. But I would take any <laughs> advice. I am just as new as you guys. Probably you, some of you guys are probably new than uh, newer or older than me. So I'm open to learning something. It's a new game. I want to know everything there is to know. If you guys think that I'm doing something wrong on my build, please let me know. <laughs> any advice or tricks is useful. I'll either let you all know or I'll make a follow-up video in a long time, just like a warrior. Thank you for watching the video. Happy grinding when you do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.